Forest, I really enjoy spending time with you here. I really enjoy it too. And besides that, I'm very glad that no one is bothering us today. So I can assume that Jax is probably just very busy with something. In that case, maybe we should just go somewhere right now and take a walk. Wait, what is that? Jax, explain to us immediately where you even came from. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but it seems I ended up in a completely different place than I intended. I hope you realize that you ruined our very nice time together. Why don't you just come with me right now because I have something for you. Wow, did you really prepare something for us? Of course, show us what you have. I'm incredibly happy that you actually agreed to come with me to my McDonald's. You can't even imagine how delicious things I'm about to show you right now. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Actually, I can't wait to try the dish that Jack's prepared. Guys, please hurry because I can't wait to show you what I prepared for you. Here, Kane, this is an incredibly beautiful golden apple I made last night just for you to try. Do you really think I'm going to eat this incredibly suspicious golden apple? I don't think you should worry because this apple is probably very tasty. Well, all right, I'll try taking a bite of this apple and hope nothing happens to me. I spent an incredible amount of time preparing this apple, so you should definitely like it. It seems that there's something wrong with this Jax, apple. Jax, have you lost your mind? Tell me right now why you gave Kane this apple. I was just incredibly tired of you spending all your free time with him. Guys, this is really incredibly terrible because Kane has disappeared and we don't know where to find him. Come on, stop worrying about it because I'm more than sure that we'll manage to find him very soon. In that case, do you have any ideas on where we might start looking for him? I think we should start by going to the circus and maybe we'll be able to find him there. In that case, we have no choice but to go there as soon as possible. It will be very good if you're really right, because I'm not planning to search the entire amazing digital circus. Wait, what's that? Hey, Kaufmo, explain immediately what you're doing. Actually, I know that you're the ones who stole my golden apple with the teleportation potion. I don't understand what you're talking about, so explain in detail. Don't pretend that you didn't feed my golden apple to Kane, because otherwise he wouldn't have ended up in my lighthouse willingly. It seems like I absolutely don't understand what happened. If I had known it was your apple, I wouldn't have given it to anyone. The apple appeared in my McDonald's all by itself. I don't care how you got it, but now you have to return it to me no matter what. I think we should first save Kane from the lighthouse so that he can help us figure something out. And you, Jax, don't you want to tell me where you got that golden apple from? To be honest, I was visiting Kofmo and saw the apple lying in the center of the table, so I decided to take it with me. It's a shame that you really thought you'd get away with this, and now we have trouble again. Nevertheless, we need to address the current problems, so we need to get upstairs quickly to save Kane. I really hope he's okay after eating that golden apple because we don't know what side effects it might have. Let's carefully check the light Lighthouse. Hey! Hello, Kane! What are you doing here? Explain to me immediately where I ended up and why this room is so strange. To be honest, I didn't know that apple had a teleportation effect, so I'm really sorry. I think we can do that without you, and you should go down and swim in the lake to cool off a bit. Kane, have you lost your mind? Why did you throw Jax down? To be honest, I didn't intend to do that. I'm just incredibly annoyed by his behavior lately. Let's go and have a swim, as long as we do it without his involvement. That's a really great idea. And just look at the cool water slides that Kofmo recently built. It's really become a lot more more fun to spend my free time here than before. I'm truly grateful to him for not being lazy and building all this himself. Well, now let's finally go to the very bottom and see where Jax fell. It seems he should be somewhere on the side of the lighthouse. I really hope nothing serious has happened to him. In that case, let's hurry back to check what happened to him after the fall. Wait, it seems like something's definitely wrong because I don't see him anywhere around. Quick, get on this jet ski because traveling on it will clearly help us find Jax faster than if we swim manually. Although, wait, there he is. Hey Jax, tell us how you're feeling now. To be honest, I almost lost consciousness after falling from a great height and was lying here waiting for someone to help me. I don't know how you ended up here, but I have a recovery potion to help of you. Of course, throw me that potion quickly because I can't even get up from this lounge chair. I really hope it helps and I can walk again. Wow, thank you so now much. Now finally explain to me why you tried to poison me with that golden apple you talked about for so long. If you really didn't want to hang out with me, you could have just said so and now I'll go home and play on my computer for the rest of the day. Pomni, I completely forgot to tell you that I wanted to show you something, so let's head to my circus as soon as possible. I really hope you've prepared something very interesting for me, because today has actually been quite a boring day. By the way, Kane, it seems Bubble has flown in to visit us. Quickly show me which direction you saw him coming from. He's sitting on the tree right behind you. Hey, Bubble, it's been a long time since I last saw you, so come over here. Wait, it seems I don't understand why he flew away from us in the other direction. It's really strange because he's never flown away from me before and always agreed to go watch cartoons. I think we'll deal with that later. I don't remember where I left you, but the 
surprise for you is that we'll likely have to go up to the second floor of the circus to look for it there. By the way, I rarely tell you this, but I really enjoy feeding the animals on your farm. And now, here's what I've prepared for you. Wow, what's this? To be honest, I've never seen anything like this before, so please tell me what this thing is for. I prepared this thing specifically to teach Jax a lesson, so that's exactly what we'll be doing soon. It seems I still don't understand how this could be useful to me. All you need to do is go to Jax and push him with this thing. I assure you it will be incredibly fun. All right, I'll believe you that this is a great prank plan. Let's head to his house as soon as possible to teach him a lesson. I've already arrived right at Jax's house. Now I just need to go down to his basement where he should be playing on his computer to teach him a lesson. Let's carefully check everything around here to sneak up on him as unnoticed as possible. It seems he has a new section in the storage with carrots. Hey, hi Jax. Romney, slowly explain to me how you ended up here because you weren't supposed to know about this place. It's just an incredibly funny thing to prank you. Romney, have you lost your mind? Do you really not understand how painful that was? Well, now show me what you're hiding from prying eyes. Explain to me what this bunker is that you've built here. I don't think you should go in there because behind these doors is something you should never see. Guys, if you give this video a lot of likes, I'll definitely go down there despite Jax telling me not to. Guys, please don't like it because you can't even imagine what Pomni might see if you really do. I'm very sure that our viewers will help me and give many likes so that we can find out. Guys, the weather is incredibly good today in our amazing digital circus. So right now, I'm going to drop by McDonald's to see Jax. Wait, absolutely no one around and there's just some camera standing in the middle of the room. I think I should definitely take it with me and then someday I'll... Wait, it seems like Jax is coming here right now. First of all, I wanted to know, did you come here just to grab a bite to eat? Actually, I changed my mind and I'm going to leave here as soon as possible. Wait. It seems like something is wrong here because the ceiling shouldn't collapse on its own. Hey, Gummy Crocodile, have you completely lost your mind? Get out of here immediately before we give you a proper beating for what you tried to do. By the way, Pomni, do you happen to know where the camera that was standing right here near this table could have gone? I think the Gummy Crocodile managed to grab it while we were trying to chase him away from here. Anyway, I need to get to work on repairs so I won't be able to feed you so you can come back later. Wow, guys, it seems like I'm incredibly lucky. Jax didn't notice at all that it was actually me me who stole his camera. By the way, guys, it seems like I completely forgot to tell you that a real llama has appeared in our amazing digital circus. By the way, hey, Kaufmo, do you want to explain to me what you're doing here? If you really don't notice, I'm just trying to get a little sun. Then please quickly tell me why you came here. Just don't tell Kane anything, but I stole some camera from Jax's McDonald's and want to see what's recorded on it. Wow, now that sounds really interesting. So please wait a bit while I gather all my stuff. I'll definitely wait for you because there's no way I can check what's recorded on this camera alone. How much longer do I have to wait for you? Let's quickly go behind my lighthouse so that no one sees what we're up to. I suggest we don't go too far and set up this camera somewhere right here. Here, Kaufmo, quickly take a look at what's recorded on this camera. Wait, I absolutely can't believe what's on this. Did Jax really walk around my lighthouse and record everything here while I was asleep? It seems like he's really lost it, and I truly don't understand why he even did that. Unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that either, but now I'm incredibly angry at do him. Do you have any ideas about what we're going to do now? Take this potion, because you're the one who'll have to throw it at him since he trusts you. Do you really want to throw a potion at him just because he filmed your lighthouse? I warned him not to film my lighthouse, but he disobeyed. Now go and teach him a lesson. Honestly, guys, I'm still not sure if Jax really deserves to be punished this severely for what he did. I really hope that no one overheard our conversation, Kofmo, and that no one will stop me from teaching Jax a lesson. It seems like right now he's still trying to restore McDonald's. I have absolutely no idea what Bubble is doing over there. It looks like he's trying to tell Jax something, but clearly he's forgotten that he can't talk. Do you want to explain to me what all this means? Hey, Bubble, so we'll just forget about Kane for now so he can explain to you in simple terms that attacking people is not okay. I think he's just a little hungry, so I suggest we give him this apple to try. It seems like you're right because he's calmed down and started behaving more normally. It looks like this apple has been in the fridge for too long, so it's taken on the effects of a vanishing potion. I'm here to find out why you were recording Kofmo's Lighthouse today. I have no idea what you're talking about, since everyone already knows that I'm making a movie about our amazing digital circus. I think this all makes no sense, so I'm going to give you a good lesson! Now tell me what's going to happen to me after you decided to test your potion on this me. This is exactly what I didn't expect. Omni, immediately explain to me what happened. Here. I'll definitely tell you about it later. I'll try to deal with this abstraction using my magic staff right now. I think we should first hide somewhere far from here because it's unlikely you'll be able to defeat the abstraction that quickly. I think the closest safe place to us is Jax 
Alex's carrot storage. That actually sounds like a great idea because I really can't do anything against it. In that case, let's hurry inside and close the door behind us so the abstraction can't reach us. It seems like we're safe now, so please explain to me what that was all about. You might not believe it, but Jax was recording everything happening inside the lighthouse while Kaufmo was asleep. I don't understand why he would do that. I don't know why either, but Kaufmo found out about it and sent me to throw some potion at Jax, which then turned him into an abstraction. We need to quickly come up with a way to save our friend and turn him back into himself. By the way, to be honest, it seems like there was a lot more carrots here the last time I was around. I think Jax just ate most of the carrots that were here. Let's finally get outside and figure out a way to deal with the abstraction. Actually, not far from here, I have a secret chest with some potions, so I suggest we head there right now together. But the abstraction somehow ran right past us. It seems we're incredibly lucky because it probably got distracted by something else. Now, thanks to that, we have time to get to my secret chest without any problems. By the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos, as it really motivates us to create more and more interesting episodes. Kane, I hope you've already found the potion we need. Of course I found it, and I've even come up with a plan! You'll need to distract the abstraction while I sneak up from behind and throw this potion at it. It seems like the abstraction is now near the circus, and we need to somehow get its attention. Hey, abstraction, come here immediately because I know you want to catch me. Omni, don't worry because I've already thrown the potion at it. It seems like it actually worked, and soon our friend will be back to himself. Wait, something's clearly wrong here because someone must have swapped the potion in the chest. I suspect Kaufmo might be responsible for this. I have no idea what we're going to do now because Jax just disappeared right in front of us. He most likely just teleported somewhere, so let's go to Kaufmo and confront him. Guys, this is really strange because I never expected Kaufmo to set us up like this. I can't imagine why he decided to switch the potion in the chest we found in the cave. By the way, here's the camera that Jax used to film the lighthouse. In that case, we should take it with us just in case so no one else gets upset about it. All right, let's finally climb up this giant staircase to the top of the lighthouse. I think Kaufmo should be there right now, and maybe we can figure out a clever way to teach him a lesson. Hey, Kaufmo, what are you up to right now? Would you like to explain what you're doing here with Kane? Better if you explain to me where my restoration potion from the chest in the cave near your lighthouse went. Actually, I thought you didn't hide it securely enough, so I replaced it with a different potion. Stop right there! Kane, can we really just let him go without giving him a proper lesson? I think this works in our favor because now we can do something inside his lighthouse. Tell me what exactly you want to do because I have no ideas. I think we can start by rearranging things here a bit so that he's really surprised when he gets back home. That's a great idea, but what will we do after that? I think that'll be enough because I'm sure he'll be incredibly angry when he sees that half of his kitchen cabinets are missing. All right, but maybe we should also take something interesting from his lab. That's an excellent idea, so I'm going to take these two cabinets to put in my place. Besides that, I want to grab a few potions to really annoy him. I think that'll do. Now let's go find Jax. That's a great idea, and I even know a few places where he might be right now. Guys, right now I'm about to visit Jax. And just look at this. He's already standing near his house waiting for me. Hey, Jax, I really hope you were actually waiting for me. Hi, Pomni. I really hope you haven't forgotten that Kaufmo invited us to his place today. Of course I remember. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I think it's best if we sail there in a boat. Please wait for me here because right now I'll look for my inflatable boat somewhere around. I really hope you find it as soon as possible because I can't wait to see what Kaufmo has prepared for us today. Well, guys, now I just need to wait a bit since finding an inflatable boat boat in the basement is not exactly a quick task. Hey Jax, I hope you're coming up already. You were absolutely right. By the way, unfortunately, I couldn't find the inflatable boat, so we'll have to sail in my old wooden boat. Since we have no choice, I don't think there's any problem with that. To be honest, it's a bit unusual for me when someone else is steering the boat. You have absolutely nothing to worry about since I'm already an experienced driver. Just look at this. It seems like a building has appeared right near the lighthouse. Hey, Gummy Crocodile, get out of here immediately because spying is very bad. I'm more than sure he's already come up with some very cunning plan to destroy something even though we chased him away. Nevertheless, we'll deal with that later. For now, let's see what Kaufmo has built here. It seems like I absolutely don't understand the purpose of this building. Inside, there are a lot of pigs and they're all flying thanks to some propellers underneath. Don't worry about it at all. I just decided to build a new attraction. If you're worried about them, then stop. They're safe. In that case, it really sounds incredibly cool. How about you try to distract him while I jump inside and try to fly? I hope in that case you have some idea how we can distract him. Of course, I have an idea, so let's go up to his lab as soon as possible. Stop eavesdropping on our conversations. If you're planning any mischief, be assured that you'll regret it. Jax, let's get to the top of the lighthouse as soon as possible to search his lab for anything that could help us. Why are you stuck in that chest? Sorry, I thought there might be something interesting in there, but I found nothing but a handful of dirt. Don't worry about it. We'll definitely find something in the lab. Now, I think you should check what might be in this chest. I think you should try throwing it at Kafmo so while he deals with the consequences, I can use the attraction 
production without any interference. That sounds like a really good idea. Honestly, I really like the attraction too, so under other circumstances, I'd suggest doing the same. Now I just need to get to the attraction and find Kofmo there. Wait, I don't understand how the gummy crocodile got into this wind tunnel. Hey Kofmo, explain to me right now what's going on here. Unfortunately, I couldn't keep track of everything, which is why the gummy crocodile somehow slipped past me. I absolutely don't understand what he's doing there. That's really strange, but now guys, I need to ask you to leave because I have a lot of work here. I think you should take a little break. Explain to me immediately why you decided to throw that stupid potion at me. I was just about to fly a bit in the wind tunnel, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Well then, I'll just stand by and make sure nothing happens to you. Hey, gummy crocodile, tell us where you're running off to. Well, it seems he was either too scared or just got tired of flying in there. Wow, Pomni, look at this. I'm really flying. You definitely have to try this too. Wow, this attraction is really cool because I didn't expect flying in here to be this easy. Everything is great, except that the gummy crocodile seems to have decided to ruin our fun. Get away from that lever immediately because if you decide to pull it, oh no, this is exactly what I feared. He's running too fast for me to catch up. I don't understand why he decided to turn off the mechanism. I don't know what to do now. My best friend might be seriously hurt. I think I need to go back to the attraction and check how he's doing. It will be really sad if he actually lost consciousness from falling from such a height. Hey Jax, tell me what happened and how you're feeling right now. I feel really terrible, so please think of a way to help me as soon as possible. It seems like I can't handle all these problems alone. I think we should go to the circus right now and ask Kane for help. I don't think he's busy with anything important that he'd refuse, so I believe he'll help me. Now I just need to get inside the circus and carefully search every place to find him. I think I should go straight to the second floor since I don't see him anywhere around. I really hope he's there right now because I'm not going to go to his house to find him. I need to carefully look around because I have no idea where Kane is right now. Hey, Pomni, tell me what happened and why you decided to come to me. The thing is, Kofmo built a new attraction, and even before it opened, Jax got seriously hurt. Unfortunately, I haven't even heard about this new attraction yet, so please tell me more. He built a real wind tunnel, and I'm very surprised you haven't seen it yet. Actually, I remember telling him that such a project could be incredibly dangerous. It's Seems he didn't listen to me and started building it anyway. So what do you say about helping Jax? I think the simplest healing potion should help him. And besides that, we'll need to thoroughly dismantle this new construction because it's incredibly unsafe. We'll deal with that later. But for now, please look and you'll see Jax lying right there. We're incredibly lucky that Bubble heard our conversation and already flew here with the healing potion in his mouth. Now we just need to wait a little. Guys, thank you so much for your help. But how can I get out of here as quickly as possible? I think you can easily go through this passage. That's really not helpful because I'm obviously taller than you and my head just won't fit through this narrow passage. Just look at this. Bubble has already widened the passage for you, so now you can easily get out. By the way, guys, do you happen to know where Kafmo is right now? I can only tell you that the last time we saw him, he had become incredibly small. I will definitely find him and immediately demolish that new dangerous attraction. Unfortunately, the gummy crocodile ruined all the fun of the new attraction for me. We can go and take revenge on the gummy crocodile for what he did right now. That's actually a very good idea, so let's run to him quickly. In that case, we need to get to the deck of his yacht as soon as possible. He did something really nasty, so we must definitely avenge this. It was incredibly foolish of him to think that no one would come to retaliate. Now we just need to reach that silly yacht and get on the deck to carefully check where the gummy crocodile is. Jax, just look at how much food he has here. Do you think we can also steal these two jet skis from him? I think we can ride them right after we avenge the gummy crocodile. Your idea sounds much better, so let's do it your way. Now we just need to go down to the hold to check what's going on there. Wait, guys, what's this? Jax, we need to get out of here as quickly as possible because there's an invisible ghost of the gummy crocodile. This really looks incredibly strange because, like you, I also saw that ghost. The ghost of the gummy crocodile is already behind you. I really hope you have the courage to get on the jet ski and follow me. Guys... It seems that some incredibly strange things are happening in the digital circus today. Hey, Jax, and why didn't you ride the jet ski? Unfortunately, it was out of fuel, so please save me from here. In that case, just run towards me as quickly as you can. Guys, I just visited Ragatha, and to my surprise, I couldn't find her here for some reason. This is really strange because at this time, she is always at home. Apparently, 
I need to check if she is in her basement right now. Hey, Regatha, do you want to explain to me what you are doing here? Honestly, you came at a bit of a bad time, but fine. I'll share with you that today I'm going to give Kane an injection. After we give him this injection, he will immediately increase in size. Guys, do you think this is a good idea? I am more than sure this is a great idea. So go ahead and grab one of the syringes and we'll visit him. I really hope you are right and we don't do anything bad. Come on, get upstairs quickly because we need to get to him as soon as possible to find out if my plan will work. Do you happen to know why an exact copy of your house is on that mountain right now? I didn't notice that there was a copy of my house there until you told me. Usually, each such case ends very badly. Now let's finally get to Kane, who is currently at McDonald's. Right now, I will go distract him. And in the meantime, you sneak up behind him and give him the injection. This is really a great plan, so let's try to do what you said as soon as possible. Hey, hi Kane. Did you decide to grab a bite here all alone? Hi Ragatha. Honestly, it seems to me that you are acting a bit aggressively today. Maybe as an apology, I can prepare something for you. That's really a good idea because there's nothing fresh left here. Only yesterday's burgers. Hey, hi Kane. Besides everything else, we have prepared this injection for you. Pomni, immediately explain to me how you got here. And also tell me what you just injected me with and why I became so huge. I didn't even suspect that Kane would be so naive. But how can we now get him out of this McDonald's if the doors have become too small for him? So I suggest you just run away from here and he will somehow deal with his problems on his own. Let's run away from here as soon as possible before he decides to catch us and take revenge. And before he comes up with a way to catch us, we should head to Kaufmo to tell him everything that happened here. That's really a good idea because I'm more than sure he'll be incredibly pleased with what we did to Kane. While we're running towards the lighthouse, we need to come up with a way to free Kane from McDonald's in the future. I think we will definitely find some shrinking potion in the future. Wait, it seems that the gummy crocodile is riding a jet ski right now. Do you think we might find some shrinking potion on his yacht? You are probably right. We can get on the yacht and steal the shrinking potion without any problems. In that case, if you also support me, let's get to his yacht as soon as possible and get on board. Now we need to look around very carefully to try to find at least something useful for us here. I think there's no point in searching here. So I will go down right now and you stay on top and watch to make sure the gummy crocodile doesn't come back early. Well, all right, I'll stay on top and make sure nothing happens. However, I can't seem to see the gummy crocodile anywhere. Hey, Ragatha, it seems you need to hurry because the gummy crocodile noticed that we decided to get on the yacht and steal something. I already managed to find the potion we need, so let's really get out of here quickly. Hey, gummy crocodile, it's not what you think. We weren't going to steal anything from him. Actually, I have an idea. Maybe we should just shrink him right now. Wait, maybe we can resolve the conflict in a more peaceful way? Hey, Ragatha, I hope you understand what you just did. Apparently, I just forgot to dilute it with water a bit, but now nothing threatens us. I hope you at least managed to find another potion with which we can help Kane. Of course, I took several similar potions with me so we can help him without any problems. That's really good. Now let's finally get back to McDonald's. I'm more than sure that Kane is incredibly unhappy being there all alone, so we need to save him as soon as possible. I really hope he's all right because we left him there all alone for quite a long time. I also really hope that he is all right. We probably shouldn't have left him there alone. Hey, Kane, I hope you're okay. Except that I'm incredibly bored sitting here because there's absolutely nothing to do. I hope you brought some shrinking potion just for me. Of course, we brought it, so catch it quickly. Thank you so much for not forgetting about me and actually coming back to help me. Although, wait, something is definitely wrong because I suddenly feel dizzy. Wait, I think I mixed up some potions. Do you want to explain to me what kind of potion that was? Please forgive me, but I just now remembered that I completely forgot to read the labels on the potions I took. At least try not to repeat such mistakes in the future. But right now, we have no choice but to hide in Jax's house. Unfortunately, he isn't here for some reason. In that case, we should wait a bit, as he might be coming home soon. Do you think that instead of waiting, you can stay here while I go upstairs and look for him there? I'm pretty sure he is somewhere around here right now. Although, unfortunately, I was wrong, and I couldn't find anything here except for a window on the third floor through which I can see the abstraction. It seems to be growing in size, and soon it- Hey, Jax! And why there is a giant abstraction right in front of my house. The thing is, it's Kane whom we accidentally gave the wrong potion to. It seems you've really lost your minds, and what are we supposed to do with him now? Unfortunately, I have no idea, and just look at how huge the abstraction has become. In that case, I'll try to get my old laptop and reprogram it to at least make it smaller. All right, then, and I'll go down to the basement and wait there with Ragatha. You can stop worrying because Jax promised to find his old laptop soon. I really hope he knows at least a bit about programming. I'm more than sure he can handle such an easy task. At least I'm incredibly glad that the abstraction isn't trying to reach us. While we're here together, I think we can check 
check out what's in Jax's secret stash. However, unfortunately, there's absolutely nothing here except- It looks like he's coming, so let's get out of here. Hey, Jax, I hope you're done! Of course, I've already sorted everything out, so you can come outside and watch the abstraction shrink in size second by second. Let's go up as soon as possible and go outside to see with our own eyes how the abstraction is shrinking. It looks like it has at least stopped moving from side to side, which can only mean that Jax really knows how to program. Guys, just look at this because it seems like in just a few seconds the abstraction will start shrinking at an incredible speed. Look at how small the abstraction has become now. And just a couple of minutes ago, I couldn't even imagine that Jax could do something like this. Now all we have to do is catch this abstraction in some sort of cage. In that case, please wait for me a bit while I go to my house and get the transformation potion that has been lying there for a very long time. Meanwhile, I'll go to Jax and tell him that everything went really well. Hey Jax, if you didn't know yet, you did Actually, it. I didn't even suspect that I would really be able to shrink the abstraction on the first try. As you can see, Kane's programming lessons I attended weren't in vain. That's why I think you should join me when he starts teaching again. You know, I'll pass. But now let's finally go upstairs and see how the abstraction is doing. Wait, hey Jax, explain to me immediately what you did. It seems that I definitely shouldn't have pressed the delete button. Now you need to come up with a plan immediately on where we're going to find Kane. I think we'll definitely figure something out, so please don't worry. Hey guys, do you want to explain to me what just happened here and where Kane disappeared to? The thing is, Jax wasn't smart enough not to press the delete button. Well, all right, I think we'll definitely be able to get him back. I just went into McDonald's because I was looking for Jax, but for some reason he's not here. However, right now Ragatha is jumping on the trampoline near her house. I think the most rational decision would be to go to her right now to see if she knows where I can find Jax. Hey, hi, Ragatha. Hi, Pomni. Have you seen Jax anywhere today by any chance? I can't find him for a long time. I came to you with the exact same question because I couldn't find him in McDonald's. Oh no, it seems that the gummy crocodiles have decided to rob McDonald's again. So we need to come up with a plan? I I think we should somehow lure them into a cage, because otherwise we won't be able to defeat them. By the way, Jax had a fishing rod somewhere in his house. Incredibly good that you remembered. Let's try to find this fishing rod as soon as possible, because if we really can find it, we will have no problems catching at least one of the gummy crocodiles. Maybe on the way we can think about where Jax could have gone. I think the gummy crocodiles are definitely involved in his disappearance. Now please give me a few seconds, and I'll easily find the fishing rod in this cabinet. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Omni, I already found the fishing rod, so please Please take it. I'm more than sure that with its help we can easily catch a gummy crocodile. And now let's head to McDonald's as soon as possible before the gummy crocodiles manage to escape. Just look at this. They've already broken the window and are now standing right in front of the entrance dividing the loot. Hey, gummy crocodiles, get out of here immediately. And for robbing McDonald's, we're putting one of you in a cage. Guys, just look at this. We managed to catch a gummy crocodile so easily. Apparently they managed to steal so much money that now this gummy crocodile is literally throwing it everywhere. Everywhere. They stole it all from McDonald's cash register, and now let's think carefully about where we can take him. I think we should take him to Kane's house because he has a cage specifically for such cases. That's a really great idea because I'm more than sure that he definitely won't be able to get out of there without any outside help. Let's take him there quickly before his friend comes back and tries to stop us. Guys, just look at this. Besides, we need to take all the stolen money from him to return it to the register. Otherwise, it will be very bad. By the way, do you happen to want to tell us where Jax is right now? We think you're involved in his disappearance, so you better confess if you know anything. It seems like he's pointing at something. Just look at that. It says SOS on the hill, which means someone is clearly in trouble there. We'll definitely deal with that later. But right now, let's take the gummy crocodile to jail, because if we let him go, he'll continue you causing trouble. It looks like he really doesn't want to be in the cage, but unfortunately, we can't give him another punishment because we don't have any potions with Pomni, us. Pomni, are you sure he'll fit in the cage? Honestly, it seems to me that he's too fat to squeeze in there. He seems to fit, so you don't have to worry. Well then, Gummy Crocodile, you'll stay here until we decide to release you. It's so cool that we caught him, and now let's quickly go outside and deal with that house. Hey, Kane, what are you doing here? It's better if you explain to me what you've been doing here without my knowledge. By the way, please check out my new renovation. I recently added a small window to my lab. Wait, I don't understand why a lab needs a window at all. A window visually expands the space, so now it doesn't feel so cramped inside. I'll tell you more about the other changes later. But for now, tell me what you've been up to here. I think it's best if you see for yourself. Just look at this. We managed to catch a gummy crocodile. Wow, you guys did great. I've wanted to deal with this and catch the gummy crocodiles for their mischief for a long time. Wait, it looks like he's shrinking and trying to escape. Don't worry about that. I won't let him out of here. I'll securely lock the cage and he'll never escape again. Well then, Ragatha, let's get out of here quickly so we don't bother Kane. 
Honestly, I really like his new renovation, but what are we going to do now? As far as I understand, Jax is now on that house on the hill, and we need to come up with some way to help him. Judging by what the gummy crocodile told us, that's exactly the case. So we need to head there right now and try to climb to the top of the hill to help our friend. By the way, I don't quite understand why your house is on the hill and not someone else's. Unfortunately, I have no idea why there's a copy of my house on the hill. I think we need to consult someone more competent in such matters, like Kafmo. I think we shouldn't ask him for help yet. It would be better to just go to the foot of the hill and see if we can find anything useful there to save our friend. At the very least, we should make sure he's actually there and that the gummy crocodile didn't lie to us. Actually, I have an idea. Right behind Kane's circus, there's a small stash with a lot of trampolines. Once we're sure that Jax is indeed at the top, I suggest setting up a huge trampoline so he can simply jump down from the hill. That's a really good idea, so show me where this stash is. I saw Kane make a stash not far from here, so just follow me because I'm pretty sure it's close by. By the way, I've always been incredibly curious about where Kane got so many trampolines, but I didn't ask him directly. Otherwise, he'd know that I found his secret stash. We just need to run a little further, because as far as I remember, the stash is right here. Now please give me some time to get everything out of here. And you guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Remember that your support is incredibly motivating for us to create more and more interesting episodes. Well, it seems Ragatha should have sorted out the stash by now, so let's get back to her quickly. Hey Ragatha, how's it going over there? The stash was hidden much better than I expected, but I still managed to find it. That's really good. So let's get back to that hill and first make Make sure Jax is indeed at the top because we haven't seen him there yet. Honestly, I'm starting to think the crocodile tricked us. Wow, he was telling the truth and Jax is indeed standing at the top on one of the letters. Hey guys, explain to me right now what you're shouting about. In case you didn't know, Jax is standing at the top of this hill and we've decided to set up a giant trampoline here so he can jump down without any problems. I really hope he makes it because I don't have a recovery potion with me. Hey Jax, if you can hear me, you can jump down now because everything is ready. I really hope these trampolines will be enough to to make his landing as painless as possible. Guys, look, he's actually flying down here. Hey, Jax, quickly tell us how you're feeling. Guys, thank you so much for not leaving me in trouble. I can't imagine what I would have done up there forever if you hadn't decided to set up this trampoline. It looks like our plan worked perfectly. Thanks again, and now if you don't mind, I'm going to rest at home. Wait, Jax, first tell us what happened to you and how you ended up at the top of that hill. Nope, I'm not going to tell you anything. You'll find out when the time is right. Guys, do you have any ideas why he decided to run away from us? It seems he's just scared of something, but don't worry about it because I'll make sure he tells us what happened. For now, you can go about your business. In that case, Ragatha, let's go for a little walk because it will definitely be fun. As you probably already guessed, today I have prepared a task for you. Of course I agree to do your task because I just can't let you down. Quickly, tell me what I need to do. The thing is, right now I will give you a certain syringe, and you must by any means necessary give Pomni an injection. To be honest, I didn't expect the task to be so difficult, but I'm still sure I can handle it. By the way, what will happen to her after I give her the injection? You'll find that out as soon as you give the injection. Now please wait a bit because I need to find this small syringe on my desk. It seems this is exactly what you need, so please take it and go complete the task. I really hope you can handle it. That's why I chose you for this it task. It seems I have a really important task today directly from Kane. I need to head to McDonald's as soon as possible to find Pomni there. On the way, I need to come up with some excuse to get closer to her and discreetly give the injection. Guys, I came to McDonald's to grab a bite. There's absolutely no one here. Jax left burgers on the table before leaving, which means he was here recently. I'll take these burgers and go outside to eat in the fresh air. Hey Jax, explain to me why you're climbing that lamppost. There's a gummy crocodile running around down there, and I'm terribly afraid of hey, it. Hey, gummy crocodile, didn't you get it last time that I won't let you blow up McDonald's? Leave immediately before I get angry, or else you'll be in big trouble. Hey, Jax, come down quickly. I managed to chase it away without any problems. Actually, it was going to blow up my McDonald's again, and lately, these attempts have been scaring me a lot. It couldn't do it today, so let's quickly remove all the dynamite so it doesn't decide to come back. Do you want to sit here and have a bite with me? Of course, I'd love to eat with you. And by the way, I have something very interesting for you. In that case, take out your gift as soon as possible because you've intrigued me and I can't wait to see what it is. I have this syringe for you and I suggest you take a little shot. I absolutely refuse to agree to this because I hate injections. Oh, come on, stop resisting. You don't even know what will happen to you. Immediately explain to me what just happened to me. Didn't you notice that you are several times more beautiful? And if you want, you can pick flowers from this flower bed. I didn't even suspect that you could give such really good and useful gifts. Now please wait for me here. I'll be back soon because I need to finish some important matters. Now after this strange injection, I became as beautiful as Ragatha. I still can't believe that Jax decided to give me such a wonderful gift. Wait, what is this? 
Hey, Gummy Crocodile, immediately explain to me what is happening here and why you decided to put dynamite on the roof of McDonald's. Uh. Guys, it seems he has really gone crazy, and now he is going to rob McDonald's. Hey, hi, Kofmo. Uh. Hi, Pomni. Immediately tell me what happened here and what was that strange explosion I just heard. It's all the tricks of the Gummy Crocodile. Don't you want to explain to me why you look so good now? But literally a few minutes ago, Jax gave me an injection. Wait, did he really steal my advanced development? I was actually going to inject it myself, so I won't tolerate something. Such blatant theft. I think you can deal with this a bit later, but right now, we need to get back at the gummy crocodile for what he did here. In that case, I'll try to distract him with my staff. And in the meantime, you get closer to him and try to push him into the cage. It seems like a really good idea, so I definitely need to hurry because who knows what will happen to Kofmo if the gummy crocodile shoots accurately enough from his bow. It seems our plan is really working because the gummy crocodile doesn't notice me at all, and now I need to climb up to him as quickly as possible to push him into the cage. Age. Kofmo is doing a great job distracting him. Hey, gummy crocodile, did you really think the explosion at McDonald's would go unpunished? Kofmo, fly here quickly because I can't close the cage without your help. And now he's unlikely to get out of there without help. I think you should stop shooting at me if you ever want to get out of there. Put your bow down immediately, sit quietly, and think about your behavior. Now, besides everything else, I also need to deal with Jax, as I won't tolerate blatant theft of substances from my lab. Oh, come on, I don't think you should retaliate against him because just look at how beautiful I became thanks to this. Actually, I wanted to use that syringe on myself. Well, I think you can go to my lighthouse right now. Ragatha is there, and I think you will meet her. Well, I'll head to the lighthouse right now and hope that while no one is watching the cage, the gummy crocodile won't be able to escape. Now, I need to get to the lighthouse as soon as possible because I'm incredibly curious about what exactly Kofmo has prepared for me there, and I'm even more curious about what Ragatha is doing there. I think I'll get answers to to all my questions as soon as I reach the top. By the way, besides everything else, I need to tell Jax that his McDonald's suffered some damage and, well, hey Ragatha, what are you doing here? I'm trying to figure out what this strange box of apples is doing here in the middle of Kaufmo's new room. It's better to take them and throw them far away from here because it's unknown what effects they might have. Well, okay, I was just about to eat a couple of apples. By the way, I hope you noticed where we are right now. To be honest, I really like it here. And by the way, did you notice how I've started to look recently? Don't you want to tell me how you managed to do that? This morning, Jax ran up to me and gave me some sort of beauty potion injection. Actually, I would also like him to give me some kind of injection like that. I think we'll definitely give you such an injection in the future. But for now, wait, it seems the gummy crocodile somehow managed to escape from the cage. Did you actually manage to put him in a cage? It looks like he has grown several times right before our eyes. We need to come up with some way to handle him quickly. Unfortunately, we don't have any time for that as he is almost upon us. I think the best idea right now now is to run to the nearby cave because he is too big and clearly won't fit in there. Besides, there is usually some kind of chest there. I think we might find a shrinking potion to defeat the gummy crocodile. It seems he has almost caught up with us and is now trying to climb in. Quickly, check the chest right in front of you for any potions. It seems we are incredibly lucky because just as you said, there was a shrinking potion here. I'll try throwing it at the gummy crocodile right now. Hey, gummy crocodile. Please don't be upset, but right now you're shrinking to an incredibly small size. It seems to have really worked. This is so cool because now we can leave without any problems. And by the way, we need to tell Kofmo about this. It seems he flew towards the circus, so I think we need to go there to find him and come up with a plan together. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, as your support really motivates us to create more and more interesting episodes. By the way, right after we talk to Kofmo, I suggest we head to the beach and swim a bit because it's incredibly hot today. And swimming would be a great idea. Guys, as you probably already guessed, today I came to the beach to swim, but for some reason all my friends have disappeared somewhere. Wow, just look at this beautiful cake that someone left standing here for some reason. Wait, what is this? Can someone please explain what just happened here? Is this your doing? It was absolutely not me. Immediately explain to me what is going on here. I hope you enjoyed our new prank. I didn't like the prank at all because you could have hit me on the head with that anvil. Nevertheless, that didn't happen. And I think our prank turned out to be incredibly funny. I didn't like it at all because I was incredibly scared when the anvil fell next to me. Guys, I told you she wouldn't like such a silly prank. Actually, it was you who suggested dropping the anvil on her head. Nevertheless, the prank turned out quite mediocre because of you. I think it's time for me to go, so if you need me, you know where to find me. I don't understand how you haven't figured out yet that I don't like such pranks at all. Thank you very much for the cake, of course, but now I will not go out with you anymore. Come on, stop being mad because it wasn't me who came up with this stupid prank, so let's go for a walk together. I'll agree to walk with you if you can surprise me with something 
today. In that case, let's go to my house because I have something interesting for you there. Wait, maybe we should invite Kane with us so he won't be bored. I think we shouldn't do that because he's become incredibly tedious lately. I really hope you have something incredibly interesting prepared for me. By the way, you've set up an incredibly big picnic table here. Is this your doing, Jax? Of course, it was me because I was planning to organize a small picnic for all our friends recently. I think we'll do that next time. Quickly show me what you've prepared for me. Please wait a moment because I still need to find the gift for you that's somewhere in this cupboard. Wow, what is this? It's a special gift for you that has been here for a very long time and I never found a reason to give it to you. But maybe you can tell me how to open it then? It's not complicated at all, but you just need to put in a bit of effort, so you should be able to handle it on your own. Hurry home and I'll stay here and rest for a while. Well, thank you very much for this. Wait, what is that? Do you want to explain why you were just spying on us? I just saw that Jax gave you an incredibly beautiful gift and wanted to get the same for myself. Unfortunately, I don't have anything similar for you. Jax is absolutely right, so get out of here immediately. I'm offended that you are kicking me out. Well, now I can finally go home without any problems. Guys, to be honest, I'm incredibly happy that Jax actually prepared some very unusual gift for me that can't just be unwrapped. I really hope I can figure it out at home as he told me. Otherwise, it will be the worst gift in my life because I won't even be able to see it. I'll put it somewhere we're here to open it later. Well, now I finally need to go upstairs because I really want to take a bath. Wait a minute, if my memory serves me right, this toy was never at my house. I think someone left it here when they were visiting me. Wait, I think I just heard some strange sounds. Hey Ragatha, explain immediately what you are doing here. Wait a minute, could it be that I imagined it because she's absolutely nowhere nearby? To refute this, it seems my window wasn't broken this morning. It looks like I've bathed already, and now I should finally go downstairs to try to unwrap my gift. Wait, hey Ragatha, explain immediately where you just came from. Now this gift will be mine. Wait guys, something seems off because this toy was in a different place. It seems it was on the vending machine, but now it's on the kitchen cabinet. I will definitely figure it out later. Right now, I need to catch Ragatha and at least try to find out why she stole my gift that doesn't even belong to her. I really hope she hasn't gone far, so I think I should first check McDonald's. Unfortunately, she doesn't seem to be here, so I'll have to continue my search somewhere else. I think I should check if she's at her place now. I can't even imagine that she, without any conscience, just broke into my house and stole my gift while I was bathing. This is not like her at all. Let's first try going to the basement and see if she's there. Wait, guys. Something is definitely wrong here. Hey, Ragatha, I really hope you can at least hear me. I tried to open this gift, but the moment I did, this toy appeared in front of me, and after it did something, I almost lost consciousness. Wait, is it really all about this stupid little toy? Toy, get out of here immediately or I'll just throw you in the trash. Honestly, I have very few ideas too, but I'm sure this toy is somehow protecting the gift from being opened. I'll try to take it with me so that the toy leaves as soon as possible. Guys, look at this. It actually worked. Girls, explain to me immediately why you're making so much noise here. The thing is, Ragatha tried to steal your little gift from me, and as soon as she ran into her basement to open it, some sinister plush toy appeared in front of her. By the way, I think I saw that toy this morning, so I can guess that it's planning something terrible. Guys, please try to find some recovery potion as soon as possible. We'll be back soon and get you back on your feet. Wait, are you really going to look for a recovery potion at your place? I don't understand how it could even be there. You might be right, so we'll probably need to ask the gummy crocodiles for a couple of potions. By the way, do you want to tell me what's in your gift because I still haven't opened it? Just a gold ring and your favorite flowers, so I'm sure you'll like it. That's really cool, and I'm incredibly glad Ragatha couldn't open it on her first try either. Now let's finally get to the Gummy Crocodile's yacht and go up on deck. It looks like that stupid toy is right now on the yacht's deck. It seems you're absolutely right, so now I have no idea what we should do. I think we shouldn't be too afraid of it, because it looks completely harmless for now. Let's quickly look around and try to find some recovery potions here. It's it seems the toy has already disappeared somewhere. It looks like something incredibly strange is happening in our amazing digital circus today. It seems they're busy with something together. Hello, gummy crocodiles. We brought you a very tasty chocolate cake, and we'd be happy to share it with you in exchange for some recovery potions. Honestly, I don't think they'll be that friendly today. You just need to remember the main rule. Always approach their yacht with something very sweet in your hands, and then they won't pose any danger to you. Thank you so much, gummy crocodiles. And now we can finally go back to Ragatha's house to help her get back on her feet as soon as possible. I really hope nothing has happened to her while we were away. Otherwise, we'll definitely have to ask Kane for help. Besides, I really hope the gummy crocodiles didn't trick us and actually gave us a recovery potion. Let's finally go inside and see what's going on there. Look at that! This stupid toy is sitting here again. Honestly, it scares me a lot. Do you think it will harm us if we suddenly stop paying attention to it? Honestly, 
It does look very suspicious, so let's just quickly give Ragatha the potion and hope she finally comes to her senses. I really hope the gummy crocodiles didn't trick us. By the way, I completely forgot to tell you that you mustn't take your eyes off this toy. It stops moving as soon as you start staring at it intently. I have no idea where it came from. Maybe it's some failed experiment of Kane's. I think we'll definitely figure it out soon. And you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to write your theories in the comments about where this stupid toy might have come from. Guys, just look at how great Kofmo's bathroom is. Besides, look at how huge his bed is. Honestly, I really love spending time here. Guys, I actually made some delicious cakes for you. So help yourselves quickly. I didn't make them for nothing. Wait, something seems off with these cakes because besides chocolate, I taste some incredibly strange flavor. It's just a regular cake. And as you can see, I'm even eating it myself. Hey, Kofmo, explain immediately what just happened to Kane. And I still have a lot to do. So you can finish the rest of the food. It looks like Kofmo has completely lost it. Do you have any idea what I need to do to get back to my original size? Honestly, I don't even know what to do since Kofmo suddenly decided to prank us again today. I think you need to go to his lab right now and look for some potion to try and make me bigger. I'll take too long to get there, so you'll have to go alone. Well, okay, of course, I'll do it because Kane is my best friend, and I just can't leave him like this after such a ridiculous prank. Wait, it looks like Jax is standing there. Hey Jax, explain immediately where you just took the plane that was here a minute ago. Okay, I have to admit that I wanted to take a little flight on that plane, but it turned out it was faulty. Well, we'll deal with that later, but now we need to help Kane, who ate some cake from Kofmo, and now he's incredibly small. I think you shouldn't worry about that at all, because I already have an idea. I think we can go to the Yacht of the Gummy Crocodiles right now and look for some enlargement potion to help our friend who fell for a really stupid prank. How do you even know they have the exact potion we need? I was visiting them this morning, and they secretly shared with me that they recently stole a large batch of potions from Kane. But are we really just going to break into the Gummy Crocodiles' yacht? We will do exactly as you said because they are probably not on the yacht right now. By the way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Remember that our episodes are made possible solely because of your support. Why are you stuck there? Catch up with me as soon as possible. We really need to hurry because the gummy crocodiles could return any second. And it would be very awkward if they caught us on their yacht. By the way, just look at how many carrots they have here. Do you really think stealing carrots from the gummy crocodiles is a good idea? Don't worry about that because I'm just taking back the carrots they stole from me a long time ago. Now let's finally go down to the hold and carefully see where they keep their various potions. They told me that they store the potions in their refrigerator. And besides, they also have a lot of burgers from my McDonald's stored here. I think we can finally return to Kane. Honestly, I'd like to sit here a bit longer and have a snack because I'm incredibly hungry. I think we should leave here as soon as possible. Oh, wow. Kane, explain immediately what you're doing here. I just couldn't wait for you anymore. Quickly throw some enlargement potion on me. In that case, let's try to do it right now. Thank you so much for not abandoning me. Now I'll head back to my circus. And if you ever need any help, you know where to find me. Omni, sit down quickly at the table because I've already heated a burger. You said yourself we need to act quickly so the gummy crocodiles don't catch us here. Wait, do you have any ideas on where we can go now? Oh no, not this. It seems we should have found a safer place to have a snack. Let's get out of here quickly before he catches us. Unfortunately, we had to split up and I really hope that Jax can escape from the gummy crocodile and I won't have to rescue him from a cage on the deck. I think the best idea right now is to go to Regatha's house to see what she's up to and ask for help in dealing with the gummy crocodiles. I really hope she's not busy with anything important and can spare a few minutes to help me. Let's quickly go inside the house and go up to the top floor because, as far as I remember, she has a workout scheduled right now. I really hope she's following her schedule and I can find her there. Hey, hi, Regatha! Hi, Pomni! Did you finally decide to join me for a workout so we can train together? Actually, I came to you for something else. Look out the window! There's a giant gummy crocodile right under your house. Maybe you should first explain what's going on and how we got here. Just a few minutes ago, we stole an enlargement potion from him to help Kane, and right now, it seems incredibly aggressive towards us. We need to come up with something as soon as possible. Let's run to my basement together because I have something there that will definitely help us fight this gummy crocodile. I think we need to hurry because the gummy crocodile started breaking the windows in your house. Don't worry about that. We're definitely safe in the basement, and he won't be able to get in here. I need to find something in my drawer. Please try to find it as quickly as possible. First, tell me, do you know how to use staffs? Kane left this staff with me a long time ago, but I haven't used it because I don't know how. I'm definitely not an expert, but I'm sure I can figure something out. Go upstairs as quickly as possible and try to stop the gummy crocodile. Hey, gummy crocodile, stop immediately, or I won't hesitate to use this staff 
against you! Hey, Ragatha, look at this. That's really great. And right now we absolutely need to chase him away from here. By the way, Jax was trying to escape from the gummy crocodile, but now he's nowhere to be seen. Wait, are you saying the gummy crocodile managed to catch Jax? Most likely, that's exactly what happened. Do you have any ideas where we can try to find him? I think we should start by checking the surroundings and running around the nearby areas. I think a better idea would be to go to the strange cage underwater. If the gummy crocodile caught him, that's probably where he is right now. By the way, guys, I think I'll remember for a long time that we managed to defeat the gummy crocodile. It's very rare for us to do that, so this is a real little celebration for us. Let's go down quickly and check if Jax is in that cage below. Wait! It seems my theory was wrong because, unfortunately or fortunately, he's not here. In that case, I have no idea where he might be right now. Didn't I tell you we should first check around McDonald's? He's probably there! Wait, I think I hear some strange sounds. Hey, Jax, tell us quickly if you're okay. Tell me quickly, did you manage to deal with him, or could he still attack us at any moment? We were very lucky because Ragatha had this staff at home, and we managed to drive him away without much effort. That's really cool, but I think we should go and teach him a lesson right now. And I think we should do that right now, but we need to come up with a plan first. Do you think we should first stop by Kane's Circus to get some equipment to help us teach the gummy crocodile a lesson? Jax, look at this! The window near the entrance to your McDonald's is broken! Thanks a lot. It seems the gummy crocodile broke it out of anger because he couldn't catch any of us. We also need to fix the windows in Ragatha's house because now it looks terrible. I totally agree with you, and that's why I'm going to get back at his yacht so he never forgets this lesson. I think blowing up his yacht is a really bad idea. Honestly, I don't care because he destroyed my house, so in revenge, I'll destroy his. We need to stop her somehow, or the gummy crocodile will never leave us alone. I'll go calm Ragatha down and be right back. Guys, I think we need to come up with a better plan to get back at the gummy crocodile. Guys, right now I'm at the farm in Kane's Circus, and it seems like I noticed my friends discussing something without me. I really hope you're actually going to follow our plan. Are you completely out of your mind? I absolutely refuse to do that to her. Stop saying such nonsense, and I need to get out of here immediately. Fine, I'll try to do it. My friends are about to do something behind my back right now. Hey, Kane. Oh, no, not this. You weren't supposed to hear our conversation at all. It seems we have to tell you that Jax has prepared a special injection for you. Are you out of your mind? You know I'm incredibly afraid of needing. Come on, stop complaining and let's quickly try it out to see what happens to you. Get away from me immediately because under no circumstances will I ever give myself this stupid shot. Don't worry at all. Nothing bad will happen to you. You will never catch me because I'm going to run towards the lighthouse and hide in the forest. Oh no, not this. I have no idea where this pit even came from. It seems like I, just like you, have no idea where this giant crater came from. Oh no, Kane. And I really hope that at least I don't turn into an abstraction. Kane, explain to me immediately why why I've become so ugly because of you. You should blame Jax for this, not me. Well, okay, I think we'll deal with this later. Now let's finally check what's in this chest. Wow, I didn't even expect that there could be something like this here. In that case, show me as soon as possible what you managed to find there. We need to hide this golden crown as quickly as possible. Kane, please wait and let me take a look at this crown. Well, okay guys, it seems like he just decided to leave me here and not share what we found. That's why I'm going to climb to the top of the lighthouse right now and make a deal with Kaufmo to steal this golden crown from Kane. I really hope Kane wasn't just joking and there really was a golden crown. However, I won't be able to find out about it until we steal it. Let's climb to the top as quickly as possible and carefully check every room because I need to find him before Kane hides the golden crown too far away. Wait, what's this? Hey, hi Kaufmo. Maybe you could start by telling me what happened to you. I came to tell you that just a minute ago, I found a golden crown with Kane, and he just stole it. We can't let this slide, so tell me immediately where Kane is now. He managed to fly back to his circus. By the way, don't you want to explain to me what this strange, silly mechanism is that you have here? There's nothing particularly interesting here, so I'll just ask you to be a little careful. If I understand correctly, this works like some kind of strange fan that blows upwards. You understood absolutely right. But my project is not yet finished. I think we should head towards Kane's Circus as soon as possible. By the way, do you have any way to restore my original appearance? I think that's absolutely not important at the moment because we can't just let Kane hide the golden crown. So we need to hurry. Wait, do you really have any ideas on where exactly in the circus we can try to look for the golden crown? You absolutely shouldn't worry about this, because I've been stealing different items from Kane for a long time. That's why I know every hiding place where he could have hidden something in his circus. By the way, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave comments and remember that your support motivates us to create more and more interesting episodes. I haven't noticed where Kane is now. I want to warn you 
that if he suddenly appears, you'll need to distract him. I think I'll definitely handle this task. And where are we heading now? Come quickly with me to the second floor of the circus. I think he has already managed to run away from his circus, so I assume we can act less covertly. You seem to be absolutely right, since I still haven't seen him anywhere around. Let's try to find his secret double in that huge haystack as quickly as possible. Pomni, think of some way to find this hiding place faster. Unfortunately, I've never seen it before. Wow! It seems we've got lucky after all, and now the golden crown is in the right hands. You're really awesome because I couldn't even imagine we'd managed to take this golden crown from Kane so quickly. Kaufmo, tell me quickly what effects this golden crown has. That the golden crown determines the ruler of the amazing digital circus. Aren't you even going to give me any reward for helping you get this crown? Oh yes, it seems I completely forgot that I didn't act alone. It seems you needed some kind of beauty potion. Guys, it seems I'm incredibly lucky. Now, without any problems, I can become incredibly beautiful again. Wow, guys, just look at how beautiful I've become. I think I can finally go home and get some rest now. Hey, Kane, explain immediately what you are doing here. Stop right there, because I just saw everything that happened here. Wait, what exactly did you see? Now I know that you stole my new beauty potion. It's exactly as you say. I stole only the beauty potion from you. Please tell me, did you steal anything else from me besides this potion? I didn't steal anything else from you, and you can even check my pockets and see that there's nothing in them. In that case, you can go about your business. It seems I'm incredibly lucky because Kane didn't notice that besides everything else, Kofmo and I stole the golden crown of the amazing digital circus from him. Now I finally have some free time, and I think I'll go visit Jax and ask him to go for a walk with me. He will definitely be surprised that I look so beautiful now. I certainly wouldn't have told Kofmo anything if Kane had just shared some reward with me and not just flown off towards the circus. Now let's finally go downstairs. Hey, hi, Jax. Tell me quickly what's going on here. The thing is, I've decided to do a little renovation, so please don't be surprised by some mess in my room. Every day my home starts looking better and better. Don't you really think you've just dug some kind of hole in the wall for no reason? It seems you don't understand anything about arranging a room because this hole will definitely be used. Quickly tell me why you came here and are distracting me from my work. I just wanted to invite you for a walk. By the way, that's really a good idea since my McDonald's Donald's recently got a new menu, or we can go there right now for a bite to eat. That's really great news, so let's head there quickly. By the way, Pomni, have you seen Ragatha today? I haven't seen her for a very long time, and honestly, I have some strange suspicions that something might have happened to her. Honestly, I haven't seen her today yet. Well then, I'll prepare something for you from the new menu while you can try to find Ragatha. That's really a good idea because I'm sure she'll want to have a bite too. I didn't even notice that Ragatha hasn't been out today until Jax mentioned it. That's why I must go to her house right now to check if she's okay. Of course, I suspect that she just slept very deeply today and hasn't woken up yet, but I still need to make sure she's feeling well. Apparently she's not here, so I'll have to go upstairs. I hope I can find her at least in her gym because she spends a lot of time there. Wait, hey Ragatha, explain to me immediately what happened to you. I accidentally dropped a barbell on my foot, so please find some way to help me. How can I possibly help you? Try to find some kind of healing potion because I'm in a lot of pain and probably can't walk on my own. Okay, don't worry at all because I'll be back soon with some healing potion. Just please hurry because I've been lying here all day. Now I definitely need to find a healing potion somewhere nearby to help her. Guys, you might be very surprised, but there's absolutely no food left in my fridge. That's why I'm heading to McDonald's right now to grab a bite. Wait, hey Ragatha, don't you want to explain to me why you're standing here hiding behind a tree? I came here to tell you an incredibly urgent piece of news that Jack seems to have completely lost his mind. I can't even imagine what could have happened. I don't understand why he did this, but he just came into my house and lay down to sleep. Wait, Ragatha, do you happen to know what's on that hill over there? I think we definitely need to find out how that house ended up there, but for now, hurry up and run with me. We urgently need to figure out a way to properly teach Jax a lesson because he's completely lost his self-control. Quickly follow me to my basement and just look at this. He just came here without any questions and lay down on my couch. Actually, I have a little something and I hope you remember that I have a tunnel to his basement, so let's head there right now. Apparently, he won't even know that we were literally a meter away from him while he was sleeping. We just need to break down this secret protective wall and now we have to figure out how we can mess with him. I think we should steal his TV or a few barrels of his favorite carrots. I still prefer to go into his secret room behind this painting and see what interesting things we can find there. Maybe we should steal all these carrots from here. That would take us too much time, so it's much easier to flood this place so that when he finds out what happened here, he gets incredibly angry with us. And I'm also going to steal this couch of his so that when he comes to watch TV, he's incredibly surprised. That seems to be enough. And now we just need to hide somewhere and wait until he wakes up and comes here. Since he's supposed to wake up soon, we can stand here in the corner and as soon as we see him coming, we'll run off somewhere else. Honestly, I don't want to wait long for him to wake up, so maybe we should somehow wake him up. And he will definitely realize that there's something fishy going on, so let's just wait a little while. I still insist that you go there and wake him up because sometimes he can sleep for 
several dozen hours. Well, fine, I'll go back and wake him up. Hey, Jax, wake up as soon as possible. I have something incredibly important to tell you. Hey, Pomni, explain to me immediately why you woke me up. Actually, you're in Regatha's house. I was just very tired and had no strength to get to my own house, so I decided to come here. I didn't think this action would raise so many questions. I woke you up to tell you that there are some problems in your house. Let's run there as soon as possible and you can show me what happened. Hey, Regatha, please hide because he's already coming since I woke him up. Have you all gone completely mad? Explain to me immediately why there's a giant pile of dirt in the middle of my basement and where my favorite couch has Actually, gone. it wasn't us because there was a flood in your storage and these are its consequences. Oh no, not that. How could this have happened if my storage is supposed to be incredibly sturdy? It's exactly as Ragatha said. So you can go in there right now and see everything with your own eyes. This is truly awful and I have no idea how to fix this situation now. Now we can just leave him there to sort this out on his own. It seems we've done everything we planned and taught him a great lesson so we can finally leave now. I'm also going to block the exit with the couch so he can't get out of the storage. We haven't had a chance to discuss where that strange house on the highest hill in the circus could have come from. That house on the hill looks incredibly like Jax's house. Bubble is sitting there at the table. Do you happen to know what that house on the hill behind you is? Oh, I completely forgot that he can't talk. Do you think we should go visit Kane to find out more about it? Besides, we can take Bubble home because I'm sure he snuck away from Kane again. Hey, Bubble, come along with us. It's definitely not safe for you to walk around here alone. So we're going to take you home. Right now, we're finally heading to Kane's house to find out if he knows anything about the appearance of the house. Besides, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, and leave comments. Remember, our series only continues thanks to your support. Hey, Bubble, please be incredibly careful when we go down so you don't accidentally break anything. Now we just have to search Kane's house and find him. I think we should check the remaining rooms and definitely peek into the secret room since he usually loves spending his time there. Apparently, I have no idea where he is. Could he be at his circus and we came here for nothing? Guys, I just went into the secret room and Kane isn't there, so I think we need to head to the circus. I hope you check the secret room within the secret room. Actually, I didn't go there, but if you insist, we can definitely take a look. However, I don't think Kane is there. Did you really forget that there's a lot of interesting stuff behind this door? Hey, hello, Kane. Honestly, I'm very happy to see you, and special thanks for bringing my beloved Bubble home. I think you haven't seen him in a long time. You're absolutely right, so let's get out of here quickly and I'll turn on some cartoons for him. We'll wait for you outside while you turn on the cartoons, because we need to have a serious talk with you about something. Hey, Pomni, do you think Kane knows about the existence of that house on the hill? I'm more than sure he knows something about it, so I can't wait to hear his explanation of how the house ended up there. Guys, I'm here and ready for any of your questions. Tell me what you wanted and I'll try to help. A very strange house appeared on the highest hill in the circus, which suspiciously looks like Jax's house. That is really strange, but I have nothing to do with the appearance of this house. We definitely need to figure this out together. In that case, I suggest we start looking for answers right now. Honestly, it even scares me a little, so we need to solve this mystery as soon as possible because if these oddities continue, who knows what it could lead to. What amazes me the most is how much that house on the hill looks like Jax's house. I suspect Kaufmo because that house on the hill is too close to his lighthouse? I'm more than sure he just decided to make himself a new hideout. I think we need to find some of our friends to confirm or disprove any of these theories. Hey, Kaufmo. Hi, guys. As you probably noticed, I just came into McDonald's for a bite to eat. Actually, we wanted to ask if you had anything to do with this. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you really unaware of that house on top of the hill near your lighthouse? Wow. I have no idea how I didn't notice it earlier. How could that house end up there if you weren't involved? I can assume that someone decided to prank us all. I swear to you all, I have nothing to do with it. That's why we need to go there together right now to find out more details. I actually wanted to grab a bite, but fine, let's go. I think before our expedition to the top of the hill, we should stop by Kane's Circus to get some tools and gear. It's very unlikely we'll be able to climb to the top without some effort. So I think my idea is sound. By the way, guys, don't you think this could be some kind of of trap? I thought about that possibility, and it's quite possible that the gummy crocodiles did this to get revenge on someone. Guys, it seems like something has definitely changed here because the floor in the circus looks different now. That's absolutely true, and I'm glad you noticed that I did some minor renovations here. Now we just need to get the necessary equipment and finally head to the top of the hill to find out what's in that house. I just got back from the Candy Kingdom and look at this beautiful staff I found there. I think I should take it to Kane so he can tell me how to use it. I probably won't be able to figure it out myself. So this is the most reasonable decision. Hi, Kane. Hi, Pomni. Just look who came to visit me today. Recently, I re-equipped my secret room to suit his personal needs, and I think he will now spend a lot of his free time there. Wait, 
Did you really decide to just give him a secret room in your house? He's obviously too big to go in there. I know, and I specially prepared a whole mountain of shrinking potions so he can enter any time. Let's go to my lab and we can demonstrate everything in practice. By the way, just look at this beautiful staff I brought for you from the Candy Kingdom. That's really great because I've never seen a staff like this before. Now you'll have to wait a bit while I find the necessary potion. Of course, I'll wait. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Gummy Crocodile, honestly, I think you should have just waited for us outside because you might break something here. Come on, I've brought him to my lab several times and it has never ended in failure. Well then, let's hurry up and throw the shrinking potion at him because I can't wait to see a tiny gummy crocodile. For some reason, all potions work with a huge delay on the gummy crocodile. Very soon, he'll become incredibly small and we'll be able to enter the secret room. While we wait for the shrinking, you can subscribe to our channel and like this video. So Kane, I hope your potion has worked. Of course it worked, and now he can enter inside without any problems and watch TV, for example. That's really cool. And now take this staff and tell me what I can use it for. With this staff, you can do literally endless things, but I'll tell you about that later. For now, please leave, because I still have an incredible amount of work. Well, guys, I think in that case, I can go to McDonald's right now to grab a bite. Wait, guys, what? is this? It seems I have absolutely no idea what all this means. I was away for a few minutes and now half the circus is mine. Wait, I think I understand who's doing this. Right now, two gummy crocodiles are running on the roof of McDonald's and this can only mean that there are now three of them. I need to get to the roof as soon as possible to stop them. Get out of here immediately. Hasn't Kane ever explained to you that blowing up someone else's workplace is a very bad idea? Just look at this. It looks like they really have mined the entire digital circus. I need to go to Jax's house right now to ask him for help in clearing the circus of dynamite. I really hope he's not too busy and can actually help me with this. Let's first go downstairs and carefully search his basement to find him. Apparently he's not here, so I can assume he's now in the shower in his bathroom, so I should go upstairs. Hey Jax, I urgently need your help. I just woke up and have no idea what you're talking about. Just look out the window and you'll understand everything yourself. Unfortunately, I still don't understand where all this dynamite around my house and McDonald's could have there come from. There are a from. lot more gummy crocodiles now. Two of them caused all this mess here and ran towards the circus, and the last one is sitting at Kane's house. This is really bad, and how can we even deal with this? To start, we need to at least try to remove all this dynamite from here. Guys, immediately explain to me who could have placed so much dynamite here. The gummy crocodiles did this, and now... Now we need to get rid of all this before something accidentally blows up. Maybe we can come up with some kind of plan to get back at them. That's actually a great idea. And by the way, I think we can use all this dynamite against them. I think we can definitely come up with a great way to prank them. But right now, we need to remove all the remaining dynamite so nothing in the digital world gets dangerously blown up. Besides, I think we should definitely tell Kane about what happened here so he knows that gummy crocodiles aren't as nice as they seem. I have no idea what I'll do now because my the entire McDonald's roof is mined. I think you just need to stop panicking and remove all this quickly so they don't come back and ignite the dynamite. I won't let them get away with this, and now I want to get back at them more than ever. Guys, immediately explain to me what you have arranged here. Actually, the gummy crocodiles did this while I was at your house. I don't understand how that's possible since you saw with your own eyes that the gummy crocodile was at my house at that time. The thing is, for some reason there are now three of them. That's really bad, and we'll definitely need to do something to keep them in check. Actually, I already have an idea. So come with me right now, and I'll show you my plan. Well then, tell us what you came up with. As you remember, I have a small pit in the circus for such cases, so we can try to lure them there with some food. I hope you already have food to attract the gummy crocodiles. I have a lot of carrot supplies left. Hey guys, please hurry up. We're doing something very important here. I will not allow you to give my carrots to those stupid gummy crocodiles. We need it to lure them into the trap. All right, fine. I'm willing to sacrifice some of my carrots. Let's stop wasting time and finally run to the circus. That's a great idea because every minute counts right now. Guys, right now, I'm I'll give you this golden carrot and some regular ones. Now you just need to somehow lure the gummy crocodiles into this cage. Do you really think this will work? I believe it definitely will, so go ahead. I think I'll stay here and help Kane with the preparations while you guys go. We should head straight to the gummy crocodiles yacht since they should be there right now. As soon as we show them the food, they'll immediately want to go with us anywhere. Wait, Pomni, could you give me that golden carrot and I'll eat it? Do you really think that's a good idea? I thought we needed it to lure the gummy crocodiles. I think nothing bad will happen if we only use regular carrots to lure them. All right, here's your golden carrot. I hope one ordinary carrot will be enough to get the gummy crocodiles to follow us to the circus. Hey, gummy crocodile, look at what we have for you today. We have a lot of incredibly tasty food, so come to the shore right away. For some reason, I'm starting to think this is a really bad idea. It's too late to turn back now. Here, guys, take some carrots and a little wheat, and if you want more food, 
follow us immediately. And look at this incredibly delicious golden carrot I have. Pomni, I think I made a mistake showing it to them because now they're looking at me like they want to eat me. Run quickly before they change their minds. Guys, the gummy crocodiles actually believed us and now they hope to get a lot of food. They really want to take my golden carrot, so let's hurry and get to the circus. Guys, everything is ready, so lead them into this cage. Hey, Jax, have you lost your mind? Did you forget our plan? But it looks like I'll have to say goodbye to this incredibly delicious golden carrot. Kane, close the gate immediately before they can escape. It seems everything worked out perfectly and now they can't get out without help. Looks like we really taught them a lesson. Now they have plenty of time to think about their behavior and please take back your stupid dynamite that nobody needs. Guys, thank you so much for your help. I think I can handle them on my own now. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be this easy. <laughs>